шановні колеги. Дія колеги, New Europe Center, Нова Європа Center is glad to welcome you at our event at the US CMC. And on behalf of the team uh, of uh, UCMC, uh, I would like to uh, congratulate you all on the fifth uh, anniversary uh, of uh, the UCMC, United uh, Ukraine uh, Crisis Media uh, Center. Uh, our joint work has been very fruitful, and uh, I would also like to congratulate uh, you all on uh, another uh, with uh, the other uh, event. Uh, it's uh, uh, one year uh, since the uh, last elections uh, in uh, the Italian Republic, uh, and uh, uh, I'm glad to welcome uh, the uh, ambassador of uh, Italy in Ukraine, the representative of the foreign ministry of Ukraine, and a colleague of mine, uh, who uh, are all going <coughs> to tell us uh, what uh, have been the changes in Italy uh, in the last year, uh, and uh, not even uh, as much about that, uh, as, uh, but more about uh, the changes in the relations between Ukraine and Italy and Ukraine, and uh, or with, rather within the context of uh, Ukraine's relations with European Union. Uh, Katerina uh, has uh, prepared uh, a research, a study on uh, uh, the uh, what we may call subversive activities of uh, uh, some third parties uh, um, whom we all know uh, in uh, uh, these uh, and its uh, effects uh, the effects of these activities on uh, the relations and probably what could be our expectations vis-a-vis -vis the European Union thank you Sergei uh, I welcome everyone here uh, present here and everybody who is watching uh, our stream online um, the trigger, or rather a trigger to uh, our today's event, uh, to a certain extent, uh, was uh, the uh, passing of one uh, year exactly since the time of the elections, parliamentary elections in Italy. And uh, it's been for a year um, that uh, a new uh, Italian government has uh, uh, been working. And uh, in this macro context, uh, so to say, uh, under this uh, new uh, government's uh, leadership, what uh, are Ukraine-Italy relations? So this is our brief uh, note that we have already published on our website. And uh, its uh, title is um, How to uh, Counteract uh, Russia's Influence uh, in Europe, Italy's Case. And... Um, so uh, it's uh, about uh, uh, the possibilities for Ukraine to use uh, the weak weaknesses of uh, the uh, policy uh, uh, of Russia vis-a-vis uh, -vis Italy. So it's uh, more about uh, uh, Ukraine-Italy relations uh, rather than uh, this triangle of Ukraine-Russia-Italy uh, and relationship in that uh, triangle. Speaking about the government uh, of Italy, uh, I uh, might say that uh, in Ukraine a lot of people started feeling uh, a big concern after the election of uh, that uh, new uh, government in Italy because uh, many uh, here in Ukraine considered that government pro-Russian, if we may say so. And uh, it ex was expressed, uh, uh, this position was expressed uh, by uh, the proposal uh, that was uh, put forward uh, to uh, remove sanctions, uh, the sanctions against Russia. On the other hand, uh, uh, two uh, revisions, uh, two reviews of uh, the sanctions in uh, June and uh, in December of last year uh, have not resulted in uh, the elimination of the sanctions. Therefore, uh, we would like to uh, uh, discuss it more uh, in detail, uh, more in depth uh, today, all these developments. Uh, therefore, I think uh, that uh, Italy's interest vis-à-vis -vis Russia, uh, as uh, many Ukrainians, is rather perceived by many Ukrainians uh, as something uh, more than it is, uh, uh, out of proportion, so to say. Uh, because uh, working in Italy, I can see that uh, the geopolitically uh, 
uh, geopolitically, we can say that uh, for uh, Italy, uh, the primary areas of primary interest, most important uh, uh, interest, is probably North Africa, uh, some countries of uh, the uh, Mediterranean basin, and uh, we would, uh, for example, uh, we might mention that uh, only 2% of Italian exports, uh, exports uh, go to uh, the Russian Federation. Therefore, this topic of uh, relations between uh, Ukraine and Italy uh, are reflected in our note. Uh, for example, uh, we uh, in Ukraine were trying to calculate, uh, uh, to, to prognosticate somehow which country in the European Union might be the first uh, to eliminate the sanctions, uh, the sanctions against uh, Russia and uh, some uh, other implications. And we also uh, did uh, the fact, uh, also one fact checking was uh, done and published uh, uh, by a center in uh, uh, Milan. And uh, according to uh, that report uh, based on uh, uh, the data of ESTAT, the Italian uh, statistic, uh, uh, statistical agency, um, uh, this, uh, the uh, uh, relations uh, th and uh, the implications of the sanctions for Italian economy uh, have not uh, been uh, uh, large. Again, uh, one more uh, instance that I want to mention, uh, when uh, after some cyber attacks that allegedly were done uh, by Russia, uh, there was the idea to introduce new sanctions against uh, the Russian Federation. Italy blocked uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these attempts. Uh, the Ukrainians uh, 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 might say that since uh, 2012, uh, the relations between uh, uh, Ukraine and Italy have uh, become somehow, uh, 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 what Ms. Remba said, uh, frozen. She described it as, uh, them as f frozen. Uh, and uh, Sergio Mattarella, uh, the Italian president's uh, uh, willingness to visit Ukraine uh, has uh, not uh, resulted in uh, any uh, specific visits. And uh, as uh, the only visit uh, uh, of which I know was Hanna Gupko's uh, uh, visit to Italy, she was uh, she is uh, a, a parliamentary committee chairman um, of the Verkhovna Rada, and so uh, let me. Uh, say uh, also that uh, with the elections, uh, uh, with the uh, period of elections, uh, uh, presidential parliamentary elections uh, uh, in Italy, uh, 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 there are some people who would not uh, like to make uh, to be uh, to be uh, uh, more uh, or to conduct more active foreign policy, uh, Italian foreign policy vis-à-vis -vis Ukraine. So uh, this, uh, these are all points for discussion, open for discussion. What? Uh, who uh, would like to say something? You're most welcome. Uh, let us start uh, with uh, 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 Mr. Ambassador, uh, Italian Ambassador uh, to Ukraine. Uh, as we have already heard this uh, note uh, to which uh, Ms. Zarembo referred uh, to uh, uh, is, is uh, uh, controversial and uh, it could be discussed and debated. But let us focus on what could be done by Kiev and by Rome in order to uh, somehow uh, uh, make more active, more intense uh, these uh, relations in different realms between Ukraine and uh, Italy. Thank you. Uh, where is the microphone? Warmest regards to my colleague, Ambassador Jimenez and Ambassador Pierilighi, uh, who is in Rome, uh, I guess, uh, and uh, participating in this debate. Uh, it's, uh, for me, it's a very useful uh, opportunity uh, to address uh, this uh, topic. Uh, I read uh, with a lot of attention the paper on um, Italian foreign policy. Uh, I must say that. Uh, I uh, have uh, some perplexities uh, with the analysis uh, of uh, the paper, with a number of examples that uh, you draw from Italian uh, history in order to justify 
this strong partnership between uh, Italy and Russia. By the way, I don't know whether it, between uh, Italy, Russia and Ukraine there is a triangle. Maybe we will see in, uh, in the develop further developments. But uh, um, you speak about the Rakonigi Agreement, for example, uh, at the beginning of uh, the 20th centuries, uh, and uh, we were not alone, of course, in having relationship with, uh, with Russia at the time, and that was, uh, has to be put in a very uh, broader framework about uh, Stalin and Mussolini dividing uh, Europe in spheres of influences during Second World War. Actually, the agreement between uh, Italy and the Soviet Union uh, dates back to 1933, so not, uh, not, not bef before the Nazi uh, came uh, uh, before the Nazi came to power. At the same uh, or at the same time, you speak about uh, uh, Italy's. Uh, uh, Proposal to build a NATO Russia Council uh, in uh, 2002, and uh, uh, of course, also this has to be put into context. Uh, we were not alone, of course, in this proposal, in this initiative. This initiative was very important uh, in the wake of the very uh, serious uh, uh, terrorism act of the 11th of September of uh, the previous uh, year. There is uh, another part which is missing in the historic uh, reconstruction, uh, the uh, strong uh, industrial relationship that Italy built with the Soviet Union, uh, despite, of course, uh, the, uh, the, the, the being on different sides of the Iron Curtain uh, during the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s, uh, with the relevant industrial initiative by Fiat, uh, by ENI, by, uh, and also the attempt of a number of Italian politicians uh, like Lapira and Fanfani. Fanfani was a former eight-time Italian prime minister who tried to build a bridge between the East and uh, uh, the West uh, to, 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 to try to uh, create and maintain uh, a dialogue with, uh, with the Soviet Union of the time. Uh, so we, in, more, in modern times, we inherited uh, this uh, um, relationship which was based on a number of interests, uh, interest in the economic sphere, industry, uh, interest in the industrial sphere, in the commercial sector, in the space, uh, in the space uh, sector. And uh, uh, this uh, contributed to form our position towards uh, modern Russia Federation vis-a-vis -vis the events of uh, the, last, uh, uh, the last few years. Uh, we, of course, uh, believe uh, that uh, we should be inflexible as far as uh, the respect of international law and peaceful uh, coexistence uh, of these principles uh, on the one side. On the other, we should maintain uh, a dialogue because uh, we believe we have still shared challenges uh, that uh, on which we can uh, discuss together. And this contributed uh, to translating into uh, the European policy vis-a-vis -vis the Russian Federation, uh, which is based on five principles, uh, which was uh, consolidated in the uh, Foreign Affairs Council of uh, March 2016, if I'm not wrong, and these, foreign uh, these five principles are the respect of the Minsk agreements, the support for the European Union Eastern Partnership, the uh, uh, resilience of the European Union vis-a-vis -a, -vis a number of challenges like, uh, for example, cyber uh, security or hybrid threat, a selective dialogue with the Russian Federation on a number of uh, uh, issues, uh, like, for example, uh, the Middle East, uh, like Iran, uh, like uh, these days uh, Venezuela, and the support uh, for uh, uh, Russian civil society and the contacts uh, between uh, people to people and people to people contacts. Because, of course, we believe uh, that, uh, especially this last principle and the policies related uh, to this principle uh, will contribute to enlarge uh, uh, the pluralistic space in the Russian Federation. 
as far as the sanctions, uh, the decisions that uh, you mentioned uh, in your introduction, Italy uh, continued to uh, participate and express its consensus uh, together with the country, with the allies and partner countries. Uh, this happened uh, in July, in December, with the renewal of uh, uh, the sanctions uh, related uh, to uh, the, the MISC uh, uh, agreement implementation, and also more recently with, this, with the uh, adoption of the so-called ads of package of uh, sanctions. Uh, we believe, of course, that uh, uh, sanctions, and maybe I can elaborate later uh, answering some questions, uh, uh, represent a sacrifice for our economy. And nevertheless, uh, we also think that uh, uh, we need to uh, adopt and to continue to support these sanctions because this is related to the respect of uh, peaceful coexistence and international uh, uh, law. If you like, I can further elaborate uh, about the second part uh, of uh, the recommendations, uh, but... Uh, in Я думаю, що буде коректніше, якщо ми потім під час уже частини запитань відповідей будемо коментувати інші речі. Зараз хотів би, щоб всі висловилися з вступними ремарками і до слова запросити хотів би пана Перелигіна, який є, можна сказати, послом з великим досвідом в Італії, який може порівняти, як було раніше, як стало в останній рік, вести діалог, зокрема, з е, керівництвом Італії. Е, е, чи чують в Римі Київ? Е, і як взагалі ось доводиться комунікувати е, італійській владі е, про протидію е, російській агресії? Як е, вдається передавати сигнали, меседжі чи запрошення італійські верхівці відвідати Україну? Чи чують у цьому всьому е, українців вас особисто в італійському уряді? Дуже дякую, пане посол, за е, вашу участь і за ваші відповіді наперед. Дякую. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, can you hear us? Uh, it was uh, uh, the, uh, in case there was some technical glitch, uh, uh, you were asked uh, to uh, elaborate uh, maybe on some points to what extent uh, does uh, Rome uh, hear uh, Kiev's proposals, including those uh, uh, high-level visits, uh, and how are uh, the relations uh, between uh, uh, Rome uh, and uh, Kiev uh, changed, uh, ha have changed uh, under the new government. Uh, uh, thank you all. Uh, I am glad to see you all. Uh, I would like to start by saying that uh, we have studied uh, the document uh, you, that is under discussion today. Uh, uh, we saw it on uh, the web uh, site. It's a uh, uh, you know, detailed document, well-researched document, but we have a number of proposals uh, uh, on how to uh, improve it, so to say. So with uh, this uh, uh, small uh, time limit that we have, uh, I would still uh, 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 try to express some suggestions on um, how to improve, uh, further improve relations between Ukraine and Italy. Uh, first of all, we think uh, and uh, we uh, make uh, on a regular basis uh, s s certain proposals. Uh, 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 the assumption, with the assumption that uh, 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 a country as important, uh, uh, whose economy is uh, uh, very close in its size, even to uh, the economy of China, for example. So uh, it uh, could uh, 
uh, these relations uh, should uh, be uh, uh, somehow uh, channeled uh, through sort of a uh, bilateral uh, implementation mechanism uh, so that, uh, for example, the agreements reached uh, at uh, the level of the presidents of the country and uh, governments and uh, ministries and Ministry of Foreign Affairs in particular, th so that they could be uh, implemented uh, in practice. Uh, why uh, do we think so? Because uh, the uh, mechanism of that roadmap uh, of Italian-Ukrainian uh, relations uh, uh, that was in place in 2016-2017 uh, we can say that about 90% uh, of uh, the initiatives uh, put uh, or provided for uh, by this roadmap have been implemented, and therefore uh, uh, we can uh, start uh, looking for the topics, for the issues uh, that could be of mutual interest for Ukraine and Italy. Uh, therefore, we could effectively cooperate uh, uh, because uh, we uh, are the countries that have in many respects uh, 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 some common priorities and uh, views. We have uh, diverging priorities with Italy uh, though in many respects too. For Ukraine, for example, the uh, most important priority is uh, the protection of Ukraine's sovereignty. Uh, it's uh, the uh, 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 rebuffing, so to say, of the aggression. Uh, for Italy, uh, understandably, the priorities are somewhat different. Uh, for example, uh, it's uh, uh, the uh, uh, struggle against illegal migration and uh, migration policies in general are uh, a priority for Italy. And uh, also, Italy is uh, interested in uh, the reforms, uh, in reforming the European Union, like many other countries, but uh, 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 here uh, not all the countries uh, have uh, consensus uh, on, on, uh, with regard to these reforms. Another aspect is uh, uh, some uh, renovation, maybe some uh, renewal, uh, or some review, maybe a refreshment, if you will, of uh, some uh, uh, European uh, values, uh, like, for example, family values and uh, some other uh, dimensions and aspects. Uh, uh, Ukraine uh, views uh, close cooperation and uh, preferably uh, uh, full membership uh, in uh, the European Union in the future. Uh, 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 in Italy, uh, 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 this uh, uh, future of uh, the European Union is viewed uh, differently from uh, how it is viewed by Ukraine, uh, understandably, and uh, the vision of some institutional forms and uh, some other uh, dimensions. I would characterize uh, uh, these uh, uh, this uh, uh, our view of uh, the European uh, Union, and uh, it is uh, also shared by many in Italy. Uh, uh, the European Union should be a union of uh, the countries with uh, larger uh, sovereign rights than uh, there are than they have now. Uh, as to the note that uh, Katerina. Uh, uh, mentioned. Uh, uh, that note is focused uh, mostly on the sanctions policy. But believe me, what uh, I uh, can see and my other colleague, uh, uh, colleagues uh, in the diplomatic uh, community, uh, certainly uh, we do not view uh, and we do not uh, see that sanctions uh, are uh, something uh, of, uh, you know, of, of, of a priority uh, in the relationship between Italy and uh, Russia. Uh, Italy uh, is uh, a uh, good partner for uh, developing uh, the relations. Russia does not pose any questions uh, to uh, Italy, and uh, uh, Russia views uh, Italy uh, uh, positively as uh, an actor who uh, is capable uh, of uh, assisting somehow in uh, dealing and resolving such uh, crises as uh, 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 crises in Syria, the Yemen war, uh, and therefore uh, uh, 
we should uh, view the uh, Italian uh, uh, policy vis-à-vis uh, uh, -vis Ukraine uh, should be viewed uh, uh, through this uh, uh, prism, so to say, of, the, uh, of th this whole array of uh, priorities uh, of Italian foreign policy, economic policy and other uh, dimensions. Uh, uh, Katerina mentioned uh, the program. Uh, uh, I would only like to uh, say that there were, have been only two countries, uh, there were only two countries mentioned uh, in uh, this uh, document, the United States as a main strategic partner and Russia as uh, uh, was uh, supposed to be more open uh, and Europe uh, uh, should be uh, probably more open vis-a-vis -vis Russia so that uh, the problems you mentioned uh, could be um, resolved more efficiently. Therefore, I am of uh, the view that uh, if a coalition uh, uh, of agreement or a program says uh, that and that, uh, uh, by the way, uh, certain uh, uh, provisions uh, with regard to uh, the European Union have already been modified uh, uh, in uh, December of uh, 2016. They have already been modified. Uh, and the third uh, thesis, so to say, third uh, idea, in, c in conclusion of my uh, brief uh, address. Ukraine and Italy, uh, what's next in their relations? The first, uh, uh, so to say, ca cautionary uh, uh, note, uh, uh, this, you know, this, note, uh, this uh, uh, notion of uh, the f frozen relations uh, uh, because, just because of uh, the lack of top-level contacts. As we know, top-level contacts should not be done for the sake of the contacts uh, themselves. Uh, they uh, should uh, be uh, somehow uh, focused on the projects, on the issues uh, that are of mutual interest. As far as uh, the uh, mutual contacts uh, uh, in general uh, are concerned, and Vasily uh, Vasilich uh, would uh, confirm that. Uh, at uh, the level of the foreign ministries, uh, we uh, have, at the level of the foreign ministries, uh, we maintain permanently uh, our dialogue. And uh, the last meeting of uh, the foreign ministry uh, ministers uh, took place uh, uh, two months ago. Before that, there had been uh, uh, the whole number of uh, different other meetings. And uh, the other uh, members of the cabinets, of the governments of uh, the two countries, uh, they continue meeting. For example, the ministers of uh, uh, health, uh, of agriculture, of energy. So if we take the sectoral uh, cooperation, specific sectoral cooperation, we can see that uh, uh, this uh, period of time from, uh, for example, June of 2018 uh, until now as, as frozen contacts period. Uh, this is simply not true. Uh, what I uh, can say, uh, what else I can say about this uh, uh, note? Uh, in my view, uh, in our bilateral relations, uh, uh, the following uh, uh, areas uh, could be uh, somehow intensified. The, uh, intra-party dialogue, if I understood correctly. Regrettably, uh, for uh, during all the period of time uh, when uh, uh, I have been in Italy, uh, I, for example, uh, have tried to contact a number of uh, uh, parties, uh, but uh, with no success. Uh, there have been no dialogue between uh, political parties in Ukraine and political parties in Italy. Why do I mention uh, this? Uh, coalition agreement uh, was uh, mentioned uh, that regarded the sanctions, but we know that uh, the uh, uh, issue of the elimination of uh, uh, sanctions uh, uh, practically uh, was uh, uh, transferred from uh, the uh, uh, intra-party agreement between Yina uh, Russia and Lega uh, 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 Nord. It was included into a governmental uh, uh, policy. Therefore, uh, it is important uh, that uh, the party, you know, uphold certain positions. Uh, they can uh, later be also transferred into and implemented uh, in uh, the governmental policy when they come to power. In uh, 
the continuation of uh, uh, the other uh, dimensions of uh, our bilateral dialogue, we all know that we have uh, uh, in Ukraine here uh, presidential elections first, then uh, parliamentary elections, but still uh, there can be some opportunities. Uh, the other uh, aspects... Uh, let us not forget that... Uh, uh, today's uh, gender policy uh, has uh, uh, certain resonance with uh, within Italian society, and Italy is one of the countries uh, which uh, uh, has uh, uh, the uh, probably the largest proportion uh, of uh, women in the leadership uh, of in the management uh, top level management of large companies and corporations therefore uh, gender policies uh, family values uh, are important uh, in it in ukraine uh, there was uh, a forum on uh, the family values uh, recently uh, in uh, uh, march or or uh, didn't hear well, uh, they, they are going to hold similar uh, uh, forum in um, Italy. And so these, uh, uh, you know, common, uh, common uh, ground uh, that uh, we have uh, in different uh, realms, different points, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, uh, develop uh, them and uh, enhance. Uh, uh, I would also like to say that uh, uh, modern-day Italian leadership uh, and Italian government uh, revise a number of aspects of social uh, policies. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, we have uh, our own uh, positions and our own views. Uh, uh, we uh, should still try to contact uh, the uh, government of Italy and the uh, leaders of various uh, levels, starting from uh, President Mattarella, uh, who is uh, known to be uh, uh, very concerned with, uh, uh, for example, the struggle against corruption, uh, the youth uh, uh, policy, uh, uh, joint uh, European uh, initiatives. Uh, in, in these, uh, on these points, uh, we could try to uh, to develop uh, our relations. We have uh, heard from some experts, and we have been. Uh, promoting uh, 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 in our day-to-day -day work uh, uh, the development of uh, commercial ties between um, uh, Italy and uh, Ukraine. And uh, Italy is the sixth economy, the sixth largest economy uh, in the world uh, now. Uh, but uh, I would like uh, the experts to also support uh, 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 the point of view that uh, uh, for Ukraine it is not enough to uh, uh, only uh, limit our uh, uh, economic relations to commercial relations because uh, 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 development of commerce is one thing, but uh, the other aspects uh, of uh, economic uh, ties, uh, they uh, are uh, also important. And, uh, for example, uh, some of the ideas uh, that uh, were last uh, year discussed uh, and uh, agreed upon, at, at least at the level of ministries, they, uh, these initiatives uh, were uh, somehow implemented vis-a-vis -vis the other countries. Therefore, uh, we uh, w need to try and participate uh, in the large projects in which Ukraine uh, is interested, so that uh, investment uh, and other types of economic cooperation uh, could be uh, further developed. I would uh, uh, wind uh, up my uh, presentation on this. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador, on, uh, for, you, for your uh, very broad uh, analysis, this large picture of uh, relations between uh, the two countries. And, uh, but uh, if uh, we... Uh, I understand that the sanctions are not the only dimension that we should discuss uh, in our bilateral relations. And uh, I would like, uh, therefore, now to uh, turn the floor over to Mr. Jimenez, who is the director of the first European Department of the Foreign Ministry of Ukraine. And he is in charge of uh, Ukraine's relations uh, with uh, many European countries. And um, I would like to ask him... Um, what is our view, uh, I mean, Ukraine's view, of uh, uh, 
the possibilities for Ukraine to maintain the unity of the European Union. Um, and uh, what could uh, Ukraine's approaches uh, be so that uh, these sanctions uh, remain in place and uh, uh, be uh, even uh, strengthened? Recently, I visited Berlin, uh, where I had a meeting with one of uh, the important uh, uh, members of the government uh, of uh, Germany, and uh, he told me that uh, they would not be against uh, uh, enforce, um, strengthening the, the sanctions, so to say, but uh, yeah, only if it's done uh, uh, in consensus with the other uh, European countries. And uh, when uh, we uh, wanted, we insisted uh, in uh, December of last year to uh, uh, strengthen the sanctions against uh, uh, Russia, uh, uh, we uh, didn't manage to do that. Uh, Uh, getting back to the uh, issue, uh, uh, we, we know that uh, in the end the sanctions were uh, strengthened, uh, but uh, uh, can you please tell us more in detail how uh, Ukraine is uh, uh, implementing its uh, diplomacy? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored and pleased uh, to be here and to participate in this discussion. Uh, discuss uh, uh, Ukraine-Italy uh, relations uh, and maybe some broader context uh, like uh, all uh, European uh, context. Uh, uh, but first of all, certainly I have in mind Ukraine and uh, how to protect uh, Ukraine's interests. So first of all, let me start by thanking for uh, uh, an invitation, uh, for the invitation to be here. Uh, I received that uh, invitation from uh, the center uh, uh, Nova Europa, and I uh, believe that this cooperation with uh, the expert community uh, uh, is, uh, can be a source of uh, new ideas, uh, new plans, uh, and a good platform for uh, a dialogue uh, and exchange of views and uh, opinions. Uh, Certainly for me, uh, uh, it's uh, more difficult to speak after two ambassadors uh, and uh, after their uh, uh, detailed analysis to express uh, and to offer some new uh, 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 views. Uh, uh, for example, uh, Mr. Sergei uh, have already uh, mentioned uh, some new venues, potential venues for the improvement of bilateral relations. Uh, uh, thus, I would start by, um, uh, you know, referring myself to this note uh, that was presented by uh, uh, Ms. Katerina. It's uh, obvious that uh, she uh, has uh, uh, worked on that note uh, quite uh, uh, intensely and uh, uh, there have been already a number of comments uh, expressed on uh, that uh, uh, paper, on that research. Uh, and uh, uh, I must say that I agree entirely with our ambassador who said that there has not been a frozen year, uh, frozen contacts year uh, in our contacts with Italy uh, at the level of uh, uh, foreign ministries, uh, there have been contacts and uh, with the participation of uh, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, there was very interesting and important uh, visit. Uh, uh, and uh, there was uh, uh, Mr. Picchi's uh, visit, who is an important representative of the Italian Foreign Ministry uh, to Ukraine. Uh, he uh, came in his capacity of a representative of the new government of uh, Italy. I would also like to remind you uh, about uh, uh, the visit of uh, uh, Minister uh, Alfano's visit, although he uh, belonged to the previous uh, government, but uh, it was, if I'm not mistaken, at uh, the end of uh, January of... Uh, two years ago. Uh, that was uh, an important visit. We have also uh, held uh, a business forum on the basis uh, of uh, 
on the platform of uh, the uh, Chamber of Commerce of Ukraine. So we, the diplomats, uh, have uh, created uh, the uh, grounds, so to say, for uh, uh, these uh, contacts and meetings. And um, Minister uh, Alfano visited uh, Donbass, he uh, visited Mariupol and uh, the outskirts of Mariupol, uh, as uh, much as, as, as he went as far away as uh, the security situation uh, permitted at that time. And uh, that is to say that, uh, 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 Ms. Katrina, uh, allow me uh, not to agree with this definition of frozen contacts, uh, the year of frozen contacts. Uh, we uh, all uh, are aware that uh, uh, first of all, uh, the uh, uh, formation of the coalition has uh, been protracted for some time. Uh, now we have uh, election campaign here, uh, which uh, is also an unfavorable factor for the development, dynamic development of bilateral relations. We all understand that. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we had an agreement last uh, year, and uh, I'm sure because uh, we uh, discussed uh, that with uh, Mr. Ambassador uh, during our working uh, uh, meetings, uh, we have an agreement uh, to uh, hold uh, a uh, meeting uh, of uh, the Council of uh, Investment Cooperation, uh, a business forum, and uh, I know uh, of uh, the interest of uh, uh, Confindustria, which is uh, uh, one of uh, which is the largest uh, uh, association of Ukrainian businessmen, and. Uh, so we have uh, some uh, positions for this year for, from which we could uh, develop uh, uh, our uh, relations, and I'm sure that these initiatives uh, 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 will be implemented. Getting back to uh, uh, Ambassador Periligin's uh, uh, initiative uh, uh, or idea, rather, to uh, view our relations in the more in the broader uh, European, so to say, pan-European context. Uh, I'd say that uh, our today's discussion is uh, quite uh, topical in this uh, uh, respect because it's uh, taking place uh, not only uh, before uh, uh, the elections uh, in Ukraine, but also before the elections uh, in, uh, to the European Parliament. So this uh, should be taken into account. This is my first idea. Uh, I mean, these uh, electoral uh, components. Uh, then uh, uh, this uh, 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 priority for Ukraine of uh, uh, defending its uh, territorial integrity. This is uh, uh, our priority. And one of the possible uh, ways of uh, implementing this uh, priority is to influence, to try to influence uh, uh, international community so that uh, they uh, support our country and uh, denounce uh, uh, Russia, uh, Russia's aggression. And uh, the fact uh, that we uh, uh, try to uh, take into account all these uh, aspects uh, but uh, also uh, weighing, so to say, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, strength or weight of uh, each uh, specific countries. Uh, if we speak about uh, Germany, France, uh, uh, the countries that are the members of uh, the uh, so-called Norman uh, uh, format, uh, we uh, take into account their positions. We take into account uh, also the positions of uh, Northern Europe, of other parts of Europe. Uh, these are all countries with different view and uh, s different aspects uh, of understanding of uh, and priorities in uh, their assessments of uh, European situation, uh, or security situation, and so on. And uh, But what we are trying to do is to explain to our colleagues uh, in all these uh, countries uh, that uh, Russia violated Ukraine's uh, territorial integrity, it supported these uh, uh, hostilities in uh, the Donbass. Um, so our basic principles uh, remain first. Uh, we uh, em emphasize every time uh, on uh, the international uh, law uh, aspect. 
This is uh, one aspect. Then we uh, also uh, take stock of uh, political, domestic political situation in every country, and uh, we can see uh, how in uh, European countries, uh, e the EU uh, uh, or country uh, member countries, uh, Eurosceptic uh, attitudes uh, have grown. We all. Uh, no, and uh, I don't need to emphasize that. You all know it, uh, uh, even without me, that uh, uh, there is another challenge uh, uh, that Russia is waging uh, the so-called hybrid uh, warfare against Ukraine, but uh, Ukrainian side uh, tries to explain it to the other European countries that uh, it's uh, that this war is aimed uh, or is waged against uh, the other uh, countries, and uh, uh, that uh, there are satellite countries, uh, there are friendly politicians uh, uh, whom uh, the Russian Federation is trying to influence. And uh, Russia uses uh, resources, uh, invests uh, in uh, uh, these uh, attempts uh, to influence uh, them. And we are trying to convince our European partners that uh, uh, it's about international law, it's about uh, uh, values, uh, Although we, uh, as I've already said, uh, the certain, uh, you know, uh, pan-European, so to say, values uh, have been uh, a little bit, uh, you know, have a little faded uh, uh, recently. But uh, I thought it, uh, it's important uh, for me to uh, say that Ukraine uh, is a chance, so to say, for uh, the other countries in terms of uh, possible uh, potential economic cooperation, uh, cooperation in the sphere of uh, uh, new technologies. Uh, that's what we are trying to convince our European colleagues of, uh, saying that Ukraine uh, uh, is going to try a reliable uh, uh, a partner, although we acknowledge that a lot remains to be done by Ukraine itself, and uh, uh, a lot here depends on uh, the outcome, successful outcome of a number of reforms uh, that are needed and that are being implemented uh, uh, here in Ukraine. That's uh, what we are trying to say to our European uh, partners. So that's in brief uh, uh, the overview of uh, our efforts. Uh, any, if there are any questions, uh, you can ask them, I would be glad to answer them. Now I would like to ask Ms. Rembo uh, uh, about uh, her uh, uh, study and uh, I'd say that uh, after what has been uh, said by uh, uh, the previous speakers, uh, uh, one aspect uh, dominated uh, in their assessments. Uh, uh, what's your comment? Uh, uh, what are your comments? Thank you, uh, 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 gentlemen, for your uh, and excellencies for your uh, uh, comments. Uh, I'd be glad to take uh, a stock of them, and uh, uh, we are going to uh, hold uh, a discussion on uh, the number of issues uh, laid down in this uh, uh, research or in this paper, and uh, so I would be glad to uh, improve it. Uh, my comments with uh, regard to what uh, to the comments that have been expressed. Uh, for example, the uh, historical context, uh, uh, I think that uh, it was quite uh, brief, uh, around 150 words. Uh, the reason why I mentioned that historical context was uh, that uh, Ukraine uh, uh, is practically absent uh, in uh, uh, the views of uh, rank-and-file European citizens. They uh, know nothing about uh, its history, and uh, for them Ukraine is next to non-existent, so to say. And uh, 
So I tried to put some basic things uh, that I thought were unknown uh, to uh, the uh, uh, European public at large. Uh, the reason for that uh, is uh, for this low level of uh, uh, knowledge about Ukraine is understandable. Ukraine uh, had never existed as a country uh, for uh, for a long time, uh, and uh, it uh, only recently became an independent country. Therefore, uh, I wanted to somehow fill uh, in this gap. Uh, speaking about the uh, sacrifices that the Italian economy uh, uh, has done, uh, let me quote uh, the figures. Uh, according to different uh, estimates, uh, uh, from 200 to 400 uh, uh, million uh, euros uh, uh, is uh, the estimated uh, loss uh, or damage to Ukraine uh, to Italian economy. Uh, that the Italian economy sustained as a result of sanctions. Uh, f uh, we are not talking about a number of uh, popular Italian goods uh, that uh, have not been subjected to sanctions, like furniture, for example. It continued to be exported. And, uh, 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 whether, so uh, I would not agree uh, to uh, the assessment of uh, such uh, damage as macro damage, so to say. Uh, uh, the, you mentioned this... Uh, 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 definition of uh, the frozen, uh, uh, the year of frozen relations. Uh, certainly, uh, 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 cooperation continued in many respects. It has been successful, and uh, I tried to uh, mention them. Uh, in, so to say, narrow, uh, uh, purely bilateral context, for example, the uh, uh, assistance, Ukraine's assistance, uh, uh, in uh, uh, uncovering, for example, uh, a, a, an organization that uh, uh, was uh, transporting uh, Italian uh, paramilitary volunteers uh, uh, to the Donbass. Uh, that uh, channel, so to say, was closed. Uh, but speaking about uh, the top-level context, like uh, uh, Prime Minister, uh, Vice Prime Minister, Mr. Di Maio, Mr. Salvini, uh, uh, Neither of them uh, have ever visited Ukraine, uh, and uh, I spoke with Ambassador Perelygin. He assured me that uh, uh, Ukraine has something interesting to offer to Italy, for example, uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, closing the channels uh, of illegal migration via Ukraine from Turkey. Uh, uh, Minister Alfano indeed uh, visited Ukraine. Uh, in January of last uh, year, uh, at, at the time when he probably uh, could uh, uh, suspect that he would not be a member of the new government. Therefore, we are grateful uh, uh, for uh, him, uh, for his visit. And uh, there was the OEC uh, uh, chairmanship uh, turn. And uh, uh, we, uh, and there was a, a so to say, uh, a pretext, uh, if you want, uh, for to for make uh, to to make another visit when there was uh, uh, this uh, maneuvering Ukrainian military ships uh, in uh, the Russian territorial waters, as a result of which they were arrested, and that was uh, you know some spike that could be a reason for uh, you know for uh, another stage of contact, uh, and. Uh, uh, so, uh, summarizing uh, my uh, uh, research, uh, uh, I, I think that uh, it's, uh, this document represents a summary of our uh, uh, relations and potential uh, developments of uh, this new coalition's uh, relations with the government of Ukraine, the Giallo Verde, uh, Coalizione Giallo Verde. Uh, I'm from Radio Liberty. Uh, and I would like to ask a question, or rather two questions. Uh, uh, I would uh, like to ask um, uh, the ambassador of Italy. Uh, Italian delegations uh, uh, sometimes um, visit uh, the Crimean Peninsula, which we consider to be uh, occupied, uh, under occupation. Uh, some of them uh, said that uh, uh, they uh, considered that uh, annexation practically return of, as, as a return of uh, uh, the Crimean Peninsula into the Russian Federation as it had been uh, before 1953, a part of uh, the Russian Federation. Uh, and so what's your view uh, of that? And uh, uh, another question, there, there is a 
uh, winery uh, Zolotaya Balka uh, in the, uh, the Crimea, which uh, allegedly uh, uh, bought uh, some equipment for one uh, for the production manufacture of wine. Uh, they bought some uh, equipment for that uh, from Italy. Uh, that information allegedly is being checked upon. But uh, what's your comment on, uh, about that? I wouldn't. Uh, I will not comment on the position of political parties, uh, of course, because this is not uh, my role to do so. Uh, uh, of course, we uh, know that uh, there are this visit. Uh, we understand uh, uh, the perplexities that uh, this visit uh, raises, uh, uh, but they are visits uh, which are done in the private capacity of uh, the people. Who, uh, who do this, uh, this vision, who, who do this trip. So, of course, we try uh, at our best to discourage any type of visit, but these are not visits which happen under the, uh, an institutional capacity. Oh, this is the first point. The second point, uh, with regard to uh, the event that you mentioned, uh, we are checking uh, uh, through our ministries uh, uh, what uh, really happened, uh, how these uh, equipments was provided. Uh, of course, we are ready. There is a mechanism of sanction for the violation of the provisions of uh, uh, the, uh, the the sanctions uh, which forbid to uh, trade with uh, uh, Crimea uh, concerns, uh, and that we are ready, of course, uh, once we ascertain the truth, uh, to proceed uh, through our executive powers and judiciary powers. Because in order to uh, respect uh, these uh, provisions, uh, you need to recur uh, to make recourse also to the judiciary powers. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, I am from uh, Ukrainsky Novene Information uh, uh, Agency. If I may ask uh, uh, the ambassadors, uh, uh, as uh, we know, uh, Ukraine sent a, a note of protest. Uh, uh, to Italy, uh, protesting the opening of the representation of uh, uh, Donetsk uh, People's uh, Republic, uh, and uh, there uh, have uh, been similar protests uh, uh, before. Uh, but these uh, protests uh, have been recognized as uh, lacking any uh, uh, legal grounds. So my question is, uh, how, what's the Italian position vis-à-vis -vis these uh, 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 protests? in their absolute private capacity. They don't have, uh, and uh, of course, they are not recognized any representation uh, uh, capacity. And uh, uh, it's difficult for, uh, for uh, uh, us uh, to act against uh, the opening of uh, these offices. Uh, but of course, we are looking into this matter. Uh, and uh, 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 we are not happy that uh, this uh, uh, happened. And uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, we can say that uh, they do not uh, attract much attention uh, in, uh, in Italy. They are um, absolutely, their presence is absolutely uh, irrelevant. Pane Posol Paralegin, I think there is something to add. Uh, 
I heard uh, uh, the question. I can uh, explain it uh, as follows. Uh, in some Ukrainian, uh, some Ukrainian media, they uh, practically replicate uh, the uh, news uh, uh, from uh, the Russian media about the opening of these uh, representative offices. Uh, 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 and uh, I asked uh, some of uh, these uh, Ukrainian uh, media, uh, maybe uh, you should uh, uh, quote uh, the media of, of the country in which these offices were opened. Uh, uh, if, if they were interested to learn more about that, uh, they would uh, certainly have learned that uh, uh, in Italy not a single newspaper even mentioned that uh, fact. Second aspect is that uh, Italian legislation is uh, quite uh, uh, liberal uh, in terms of uh, uh, allowing or disallowing. It, it practically never prohibits the opening of any and functioning of any, uh, you know, uh, non-governmental organizations. So if someone uh, is, uh, uh, for example, in this case, uh, 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 founded a non-governmental organization, uh, which uh, could be said uh, as uh, uh, to be a fake organization practically, because it is, uh, there are two or three uh, uh, members, they uh, call themselves the center or uh, representative office or something like that. Uh, we know that uh, the Abkhazian uh, Republic, uh, the Kurdistan, for example, uh, they have their representative offices, but they all function as uh, non-governmental organizations, and uh, uh, the law cannot prohibit, uh, does not prohibit uh, the opening of any such uh, office uh, only on the grounds that uh, uh, the uh, organization has this or the other uh, name, uh, unless uh, this name contains some slogan or motto asking, um, uh, you know, inciting uh, uh, racism or something, um, some other uh, things uh, uh, prohibited by law. Therefore, we uh, know that uh, uh, this uh, civic uh, organization, if, if that organization does not uh, uh, violate, uh, does not breach uh, any uh, uh, law uh, in any uh, in in any uh, respect, it's uh, uh, next to impossible to shut such organization down. We have uh, 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 the information from uh, the Questura of uh, uh, that uh, uh, region. Uh, uh, about the foundation of that organization, and uh, uh, they even uh, checked upon our request uh, if uh, uh, the Vienna Convention uh, had not been violated, uh, because uh, uh, we were interested uh, to know if they, uh, for example, were uh, going to uh, uh, execute certain uh, f consular functions or something similar. And uh, we uh, received uh, full information from the regional authorities uh, uh, about uh, the legal status and uh, the uh, uh, functioning uh, of uh, those uh, uh, offices. Uh, do you have any comment? Uh, well, I will be brief uh, and I would probably repeat myself. Uh, 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 dear colleagues, uh, you should take into account uh, uh, the fact that uh, 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 a war is waged uh, against uh, Ukraine. Facilities uh, are in the Donbass uh, and uh, against uh, Ukraine uh, as a state uh, uh, there is uh, also, uh, there are, we can say also uh, there are uh, information hostilities, so to say. and. Uh, uh, in some countries, uh, Ukrainian government managed to shut down uh, these offices, as uh, was the case uh, in the Czech Republic. In the other countries, uh, it's uh, 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 much more difficult, and uh, uh, we as the Foreign Ministry of Ukraine are trying to uh, bring uh, those uh, uh, instances uh, uh, into a political level, uh, to a political level. And we uh, try to describe uh, the situation as uh, the actions of uh, uh, Russia that were supported by Russia, and Russia is uh, an aggressor country. And, uh, for example, uh, 
the Crimea, if you look at the last uh, vote uh, in the General Assembly, United Nations General Assembly, uh, uh, you could see that uh, these uh, positions of uh, many countries should be taken into account. And uh, oh, regrettably, in Europe, uh, there are some politicians uh, who uh, uh, are conducive to uh, you know to these uh, uh, actions, uh, and uh, uh, we uh, certainly should uh, continue monitoring, so to say, the situation. But on the other hand, as uh, Mr. Ambassador rightly pointed out, we should not dramatize uh, uh, these uh, instances because uh, in Italy, uh, the, the mere fact that in Italy, uh, not uh, not a single media mentioned. Uh, uh, the fact of the opening of these uh, uh, offices uh, means that uh, it was of uh, very little uh, uh, relevance uh, to the Italian public. And uh, again, uh, I would like to say again uh, to say it again that we uh, have been monitoring these facts. Uh, uh, quite thoroughly, and uh, we are trying to raise all these things to a political level as soon as possible. Well, I can say that uh, it's a pity that Italian uh, legislation uh, allows uh, the creation of uh, 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 the uh, non-governmental organizations uh, uh, who have uh, the names uh, that are mentioned in the sanction lists uh, of the European uh, Union. Uh, uh, if you mention Kurdistan, for example, we know that Kurdistan is not uh, mentioned in uh, uh, the sanction list uh, of uh, the European Union. So, uh, any more questions, please? Stanislav uh, Zelikovsky, I am PhD in politology. Um, as we know, uh, uh, recently in Italy uh, there has been uh, a, a trial uh, uh, against uh, Vitaly uh, Markov, a Ukrainian uh, military serviceman. Uh, I would like to know uh, how, uh, what's the reaction uh, in uh, Italy uh, uh, towards this uh, trial. I think uh, uh, um, Italian ambassador uh, can kindly, uh, our, our ambassador in Italy uh, can kindly uh, uh, comment on that. Well, if you're interested uh, in uh, learning practically about every uh, uh, court hearing, uh, uh, I can address you to Radio Liberty uh, that uh, covers in great detail uh, all these uh, uh, hearings, who spoke, who said what, and so on and so forth. Uh, there, has, there have been six uh, uh, hearings uh, starting from uh, uh, last uh, summer. And so you could see there, uh, you could trace, so to say, monitor uh, this uh, trial uh, at that website. At that website. Uh, the procedure of uh, interrogation of witnesses has been completed uh, so far, and at the next uh, hearing uh, in two weeks, uh, the uh, witnesses uh, from uh, the uh, defense uh, are going to be uh, heard. So uh, Vitaly Markov's uh, witness, defense uh, witnesses uh, will be will start their depositions. Uh, th there are uh, there is a number of uh, witnesses uh, who are uh, uh, called who have been or whom uh, 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 Vitaly's attorney uh, is going to um, present, but. Uh, uh, I can. Uh, I cannot give you the names, but uh, I can uh, tell you that uh, 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 there would be uh, some important uh, figures who actively participated in uh, uh, the events of uh, 2014 as volunteers, and uh, I think that uh, some information uh, uh, could uh, be uh, 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 given on whether. Uh, it was 
uh, uh, possible uh, uh, for uh, the uh, uh, that military unit in which uh, Vitaly uh, Markin was, uh, uh, whether it was possible for them to be at uh, the area where uh, the Italian journalist was killed. I know uh, um, many Italians and from many of them uh, we receive, from many of our Italian friends, uh, we receive the words of uh, support and uh, uh, there is a lot of people uh, uh, on the other hand, who think that, uh, and witnesses uh, who uh, uh, testified uh, to the fact that uh, Vitali took a part directly uh, in uh, the hostilities uh, in the course of which uh, the Italian journalist was killed. Uh, so I believe, I personally believe that uh, in the end, uh, uh, the court uh, could uh, uh, clear uh, uh, Vitali of uh, any suspicions of his participation in uh, this uh, uh, tragic event. But uh, the, the final information could only be uh, given after the uh, uh, completion of uh, the trial. Tonight, uh, there is uh, a trial, uh, there is a court of law with all the, the possible guarantees. Uh, uh, for uh, the defendant, uh, what we would like to know is uh, the truth, uh, to ascertain the truth after five years of the killing of uh, the Italian journalist Andrea Rocchelli, it's, uh, the family, the Italian public opinion, Italian authorities and institutions who request to find the truth. We have full confidence on uh, the uh, proceedings that are taking place at the moment. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, uh, we have time for two more questions. Ambassador, uh, I will address directly in English so we make sure that uh, uh, <laughs> you understand me directly. My question is related to Nord Stream 2. I mean, we've seen a lot of uh, positions from various governments, uh, France recently. I've seen less kind of position of government of Italy, maybe I missed it. But if you could give some details of what's the position of Italy regarding Nord Stream 2, because if I'm not mistaken, a few years ago Italy was uh, supposed to be one of the countries to, as an entry point for the Russian gas for a different pipeline. But then under the pressure of the European Union rules of unbundling, Italy was supposed to cancel, well, Italy and Russia was supposed to cancel this pipeline and then it appeared a few years later on that we see Nord Stream 2 uh, basically taking place uh, through Germany. So could you please shed some light on this question or your position, I mean, of your government, where, what, which are your considerations uh, in this regard? Thank you. Okay, I believe uh, that energy is one of the sectors, one of the dimensions uh, which is more promising for the collaboration between Italy and Ukraine. We are uh, very much interested, uh, this is our position, in uh, diversify the sources of uh, energy and the roots of energy. So we strongly support the modernization of the TSO in, uh, in Ukraine. We are one of the, your best friends in uh, this regard, uh, and this is uh, our position. Of course, we are interested in uh, getting uh, uh, sources of energy as cheap uh, as uh, possible, uh, and we believe that, as I said, we should try to diversify the uh, routes and the sources. Uh, and for this, uh, we strongly support uh, the modernization and the constitution within the unboundary process on NAFTA gas of a TSO, and we are ready also to provide uh, advice and partnership with our companies uh, to this regard. But Nord Stream 2, does Italy support it or uh, We not? voted in favor, uh, with regard to Nord Stream 2, we voted in favor uh, to the extension of the European directives uh, to a pipeline which are uh, beyond the uh, European uh, Union borders, uh, so this is... Uh, what we believe about Nord Stream 2. Thank you. Uh, 
І друге питання. Як відзначила пані Катерина минулого року візити вищих посадових осіб Італії до України? As uh, Catherine uh, mentioned, uh, the number of top-level uh, uh, visits has been quite uh, 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 limited uh, in uh, recently. Uh, so practically, uh, uh, we can uh, uh, ask uh, uh, we can ask this question uh, the following way: Are there any uh, major events uh, or high-level contacts uh, uh, or any events uh, in uh, the making, so to say, besides uh, top-level contacts? The uh, cultural uh, dimension uh, uh, here in Ukraine, uh, we are working uh, on uh, the uh, government to government contacts. Uh, as uh, you said, uh, we did. Uh, we it was not uh, a, a, a frozen uh, year as far as uh, political contacts are concerned. We have. Uh, uh, five meetings uh, between uh, Foreign Minister Klinkin uh, and Foreign Minister Alfano and already two, two meetings uh, with uh, Foreign Minister uh, Moavero. We had a parliamentary visit. Uh, Anna Occo, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, came to Italy. The director of NABU was in Italy too for the same anti-corruption conference uh, before we had uh, the speaker uh, of the Verkommen Rada going to Italy. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, I believe, especially in uh, the economic dimension. And the economic dimension, as you said in the paper, I want to say that I'm very much in agreement on the second part of the paper uh, regarding the recommendations that you express. Uh, we need uh, to work a lot in order to overcome uh, a perception gap that Italian companies have about the possibility to invest uh, here in Ukraine. Trade is very fine. Trade reached the pre-crisis level uh, of 2013. We have uh, an overall trade of $5 billion among our two countries. We need to have uh, more investment and industrial cooperation. We single out a number of sectors, energy, infrastructure, agribusiness. We had uh, a sort of roadmap from the business forum. We uh, did uh, in uh, February last uh, last year to the opening uh, of uh, an important office of Confindustria in October to this uh, uh, business forum that we are organizing uh, in uh, uh, June. And we need uh, very much, once again in agreement with the paper, some uh, success stories uh, in order to change uh, this uh, uh, perception gap. Ми вже вичерпали, на жаль, час, тому я би запрошував наших шановних спікерів до заключених ремарок і почав би із пані Катерини. Який ваш підсумок? Оскільки дійсно час вичерпаний, в нас вже я дуже коротко хотіла... As we have practically exhausted the time for our today's meeting, as we... And uh, if we speak about uh, the importance uh, of our relations uh, with uh, uh, Italy, uh, uh, I would uh, uh, say that, uh, uh, for example, uh, Ukrainsky Deem uh, as an organization uh, is an example that uh, Italy is not uh, a, a priority uh, for uh, the Ukrainian organizations that could contribute more, uh, could have contributed more, uh, contributed more uh, to the development of our bilateral uh, uh, ties. And uh, 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 therefore, uh, my uh, wish is that we all work more in order to uh, promote Ukrainian interests, uh, defend them. And vorrei senz'altro dire grazie alla sua eccellenza, all'ambasciatore Davide La Cecilia, per la sua partecipazione nel nostro evento di oggi. Quindi la ringrazio. Ну, я розумію, що мушу бути дуже конкретний і дуже швидко. Дивіться, ми говорили про те, що Україна слабо відома в Італії. 
Наводилася цитата одного сенатора. Можливо, сенатор не дуже сильний був в географії, бо я інакше не можу пояснити, велика держава в Європі, про неї мало що знають. Але якщо серйозно, десь я бачу, читаючи одну... I would say that in my notion, uh, in my understanding, this notion that Ukraine uh, is uh, not uh, well known in Italy, I think... Uh, is uh, could be um, you know uh, interpreted differently uh, we can say that businesses are usually uh, interested in the countries in which uh, they see good uh, prospects so uh, from that point of view and also from uh, the point of view of uh, cultural cooperation and uh, cooperation in other aspects uh, we have new ideas uh, on uh, how to enhance uh, how to continue developing our relations uh, uh, using different platforms uh, uh, ambassador uh, of Italy uh, quoted uh, already referred to these uh, opportunities we should be more uh, effective uh, uh, here in Ukraine in terms of our domestic reforms and uh, uh, another aspect is uh, we have not uh, mentioned it today but uh, we uh, uh, can uh, uh, probably rely more on our Ukrainian community in Italy. It's a large community. There are a lot of Ukrainians in Italy. Uh, uh, we, as the Foreign Ministry of Ukraine, are working on that, and uh, we expect to uh, hear uh, new ideas from you in this uh, respect, uh, too. Uh, I would also like to uh, point out that uh, the embassy, uh, Ukrainian embassy uh, in Italy, uh, has been quite active, and uh, uh, last year, for example, the ambassador himself uh, has published a number of uh, articles. Uh, he spoke on TV on a number of occasions. Uh, for example, Italian uh, TV uh, used the uh, term genocide uh, with regard to uh, uh, the uh, famine of 1933. Uh, Another dimension of our cooperation is regional cooperation, uh, the Twin Cities uh, cooperation and movement within th this uh, context. Uh, uh, the <laughs> Chambers of uh, Commerce, uh, they cooperate, uh, and uh, Association of uh, Cities uh, of Ukraine uh, is trying to also to, to be more uh, active. So we uh, expect new ideas from you, from uh, the media, from uh, the journalists, uh, uh, from uh, the NGOs. Uh. So as you can see, uh, there is a lot of ideas, and uh, uh, I hope I have outlined a number of uh, uh, some new areas for research for this center, uh, Nova Europa, and uh, uh, if you invite me uh, to participate in your discussions again, I would gladly uh, uh, take part. Colleagues, we need to explore new dimension of cooperation. Uh, uh, we need to have uh, more journalists, for example. We don't have many journalists, Italian journalists uh, traveling uh, to Ukraine uh, or uh, Ukrainian journalists uh, traveling to Italy. Maybe because we don't have uh, newspapers, uh, uh, a lot of newspapers here, maybe this is one of the reasons. We don't have NGOs, for example. We badly need. Uh, the presence of Italian NGOs for our cooperation and humanitarian programs. Uh, Italy devolved uh, in the last three years uh, 5 million euros uh, for humanitarian assistance in uh, the East, in the Donbass, uh, through ICRC, through World Food Program, uh, through UNICEF. We need more uh, cooperation at the level of universities, uh, more exchange between, uh, uh, between the students, uh, and uh, by the way, Italy was one of the most forthcoming European country for the visa in adopting the visa liberalization. So we need to increase our contacts at uh, every level, not only the institutional level. We diplomats, we tend, of course, uh, to privilege visits of uh, foreign ministers or prime ministers, but um, the people to people contacts are really the base of our long term relationship growth. І ще, якщо одне речення, повірте, політичні візити високого рівня будуть, ми над цим працюємо.
Uh, speaking about the top uh, level uh, visits, uh, uh, we uh, work together with our Italian colleagues uh, uh, actively on uh, uh, s organizing such visits, but there should be some uh, good reasons for these uh, visits, uh, believe me. Uh, on our, from, from our side, uh, we uh, are going to facilitate people-to-people -people contacts and uh, Ms. Zarembo is going to uh, visit Italy and uh, to participate uh, uh, there uh, in uh, the events uh, dedicated to uh, relations with uh, Ukraine. Therefore, we uh, are going to uh, continue unfreezing, so to say, uh, the unfrozen, those unfrozen relations. And uh, uh, we uh, invite you to Milan uh, to participate in our events uh, uh, in, uh, on uh, March the 8th, I think it was mentioned. Yes, I would like to uh, confirm that uh, we uh, have uh, the new projects for uh, our uh, cooper further cooperation at uh, the high uh, level, and uh, I'm sure that these uh, the implementation of these contracts will uh, you know constitute a good basis for uh, the future uh, uh, high level contacts. Uh, I would like also to uh, say to our uh, experts to our uh, uh, you know, uh, representatives of civil society, especially with regard to uh, the media, I'd say that uh, it's uh, we, we sometimes uh, pay more attention to some negative uh, facts uh, or trends than to some positive developments. Uh, one example, uh, for example, the opening of that uh, uh, representative office of DNR, uh, DNR uh, in uh, uh, Verona, uh, uh, Provincia di Cuneo uh, 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 made a decision to uh, support uh, the, uh, this appeal uh, to free Alexinsov and some other Ukrainian uh, uh, activists uh, uh, detained in uh, uh, the Russian Federation. Uh, and uh, so it could be written by the media uh, that uh, in Italy there are the members of local councils, regional councils, uh, that voted uh, in favor of supporting uh, the appeal uh, to liberate uh, the uh, uh, Ukrainian activists. Uh, so we should uh, all, uh, all of us, uh, the diplomats, the journalists, uh, we should uh, speak more, write more about positive uh, events, positive developments. And uh, Ukraine-Italy uh, 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 relations are developed uh, jointly by us, by Ukrainian diplomats, by Italian diplomats, and uh, we cooperate with our foreign ministry and the European department. Uh, uh, and, but certainly uh, we uh, also take uh, uh, into account the seriousness of the upcoming electoral campaigns, the presidential uh, elections in Ukraine, uh, and also the elections to uh, the European uh, Parliament. Uh, believe me that for uh, many Italian politicians, uh, uh, these elections into the European Parliament are quite important and uh, a lot of struggle is going on around uh, these, uh, or in the course of the election campaign uh, to uh, the uh, European Parliament. Uh, thank you, Center uh, New Europe. Uh, thank you, uh, Kath uh, Katerina. I, I hope to see you uh, either in uh, the embassy or uh, maybe our representative of the consulate uh, in uh, Milan uh, would uh, uh, take part uh, in your uh, uh, event uh, in uh, Milan. So we, I wish that uh, we all have more positive stories about uh, uh, Ukraine and uh, uh, in uh, about our bilateral relations, and so that uh, e uh, if we meet uh, uh, in a year, uh, we could uh, speak more. Uh, we are able to speak more about successes uh, in uh, uh, Ukraine uh, and uh, in Ukrainian Itali Italian relations. I thank again uh, to the Embassy of uh, Sweden for the support of uh, our uh, New Europe uh, Center, and uh, thank you all for your attention and participation. Thank you.